Hello guys and welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode, hold on, episode 25 in my tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to be talking about strip mining. That's right. Um, we're going to be looking at strip mining and you know what that can do for us and well the best ways to do it. So, to start this episode, hold on, I can just throw these in the mob waste thing. To start this episode, we're going to make a new diamond pickaxe, you know, like so. And I'm going to get quite a few levels, um, but my goal is to get unbreaking three on this pickaxe and efficiency four. So... I'm gonna go do that. Um, so I'm gonna head over to the um, the mob, the skeleton farm, get quite a few levels, and I will meet you guys back here when I have finished with that. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is we are going to enchant our pick. Well, um, I gotta actually go sleep first. But from here, basically, what we're going to do is enchant our other pick so that it's our pick that we're going to strip mine with, basically. I want Unbreaking 3 on it. Um, efficiency would be nice. Um, Silk Touch would also be nice, so that way I wouldn't have to bring my other pickaxe um, along with me. But, you know, whatever I get is whatever I get. Uh, so, the wrong door. Sorry, allies. Uh, wrong room. I didn't even grab, the, <laughs> I didn't even grab the lapis. I'm sorry, I'm such an old school Minecrafter. I, look, enchanting with lapis has been in the game longer than enchanting without lapis. And I still forget to bring lapis to my, um, enchanting sessions. So let's. Do I not have any lapis? Or is it in the enchanting room? Or did I use all my lapis, maybe? Maybe I put it in this chest? No. No. I love when I make an organization system and then literally don't use it. Snowy? Okay, you're still in here. I don't know why I opened your door. There's got to be some lapis laying around somewhere. Maybe it's in my ugly hut over here. So let's head over here. Let's see if we can find the lapis. Here it is. I knew I had some somewhere. Uh, but this is going to be a rather boring technical episode, so I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to skip this episode. And that's okay. Uh, silk touch. Let's take the risk. That's exact. <laughs> that is the exact pickaxe that I wanted. That's awesome. So we're going to need to bring... So for the mining session, we want to bring as little as possible. So I'm going to drop this other stuff off inside the house. Um, let's grab a chest. Wood, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Boom. And then let's uh, we can clean out our inventory. We can actually put the lapis in the right place today. Uh, this is stuff I'd like to have. Well, I'll take the bow with me, too. Oh, we're going to need a lot of torches. So let's grab that. And we need 32 sticks. Um, well, there's no point. There, just get rid of two.
Oh, well, I... Okay. Anyways, I don't know where my mind is today. Probably not take our shield. And we are going to go... Now we need a lot more sticks, too. Um, so if we're at level 74, the math that I need to do is... So you want to find your level, your Y level, which is the one in the... I'm pointing at the screen right now thinking y'all can see me. I'm sorry. Um, your Y level is the one in the middle where it says XYZ over there below where it says Minecraft Overworld FC0. Right below that it says XYZ and it says... Mine says 159.7, negative 71. I'm sure we've been over coordinates already. Um, but right there where it says uh, 74, that's important because you want to add that, whatever yours is, to 54, and that's how many ladders you'll need. So if we just, well, we can convert this entire thing to sticks right here, and then that gave us 18 ladders. That's, I keep forgetting how expensive ladders are. I need 128 ladders. So let's see here. How much will this give us? Let's get a stack. Oh, so we're going to need to like make all of these into ladders. So I'm at 78. I'm going to go ahead and grab just some more wood and make another stack of ladders. So give me just a second here, guys. I know, like I said, this is probably not going to be the most entertaining episode that I've ever recorded. And I'm sorry, but this is one of, you know, this is just one of those processes that everyone has to do in Minecraft. Um, well, you don't have to. You can just explore caves. However, um, I'm going to show you why we prefer this method if we were looking for diamonds and you know why it's so fast and stuff like that that should hoping this will get me where I need for our sticks 64 64 that's more So actually, 128, that's two stacks of ladders exactly. So I need just a bit more wood, maybe one more tree. And I can pick up some of these sticks too. Um, I'd like to replant my trees. I'll grab two more trees just to play it safe. do that here we'll head back inside and we will make our other set of ladders Exact with it. Okay. We can go ahead and put all this away. We can put the dirt away. We won't need it. We get, we get plenty of dirt and stuff like that. We can get plenty of um, what is that stuff called? Deep slate. We get plenty of that. And I think we are now ready. We just need a bucket of water. And you'll see why we need a bucket of water here in a second. And then I believe that's it. So I'm going to start my my uh, mine back here in the woods. Um, and that's mainly because I actually have an idea for a, a future build off back here. Um, 
and we are going to dig down to the y coordinate negative 54 uh, so however you choose to do that I am just going to straight up do the uh, the same thing we did with the skeletons and I th I'll just do a jump cut and I will meet you um, whoa. careful here careful here careful here this is why this is why we do not dig straight down I would have died from that fall been nice to have uh, foreseen that if you'd like later on you can I don't have a shield on me this is actually a tricky situation to navigate out of here This is why we always carry why we always carry a bucket of water on us and it doesn't help to have a sh or it doesn't hurt to have a shield on you too. Um, this is a very tricky situation though. If you want a lot of people would probably just pick up and move it over there somewhere. But I'm not most people. I've already chosen my mining location, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tough it out. Um, but this is basically how you want to do this right here. And then we got two more here. You just wanna take it nice and slow through these parts. I thought that was diamond ore in that stone right there. Stone diamond ore does exist. Um, it's not all just deep slate. However, for the most part, all you really are going to find is deep slate. Let me shoot this guy down here. Hi. Um... You know what? I'm going to change. I was talking about being all resilient. No, I'm just going to change locations. I'll explore that cave at a later date. I do need some more ladders now, though. It stinks, but, well, got to roll with the punches here. Oh, Enderman. Hello, Enderman. Let's get back to the house. We can just head in through this back gate here. Um, it is helpful to know where all your local caves are though that's one thing uh, that will help if you know where your local caves are that's good but well I swear 90% of this is just gonna be us setting up the strip mine but once I get into it it's gonna be a lot of jump cuts and stuff like that so like I said, just bear with me. I know it's boring. This is the type of stuff that makes a lot of people's eyes bleed. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I did need to convert all those. Um, let's see if I can get up to 64. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough right there. Good enough for me. You can drop off the dirt sand and then oh we're actually going to be getting smooth stone since we have silk touch on our pickaxe now when you mine stone with silk touch you get smooth stone and not cobblestone so that's um an interesting note to make i know there's a giant cave that runs under all this um uh, maybe let's head off this way We can try right here, maybe. 
Um, so that's just a very big thing on the importance of not digging straight down and having this little 2x2 two two thing here um, because you will never fall if you do this. So anyways, I'm going to dig down to negative 54, and I will catch you guys when I am down there, or if something interesting comes up and I have to deal with said interesting thing. Um, yeah. Alright. Just a little fun tip. You actually don't have to start looking... Oops, didn't mean to take that screenshot. You don't have to start looking at your coordinates until you get to uh, the deep slate level. Then it's kind of useful to start you know, from there looking at your coordinates and seeing just about how far you want to go. And like I said, you want to go right till that middle one says negative 54. And I'll show you why when we get down there. <laughs> why? Get it? Because talking about y coordinates. Uh, but you'll see this efficiency four just tears straight through this stuff. And if you want, you can stop every period and, uh, or every, you can stop periodically and place in some more ladders. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, but that's just a fun tip because you will not reach negative 54 without running into deep slate. So you really don't have to stop and place your ladders until you get to deep slate. Um, so that's what I will be doing. And like I said, I'll get back to you when I'm at negative 54. I'm sorry, I don't know if I paused that just now. We are at 54, and you can see if I hit my Y uh, thing, we are now actually at 55. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do when you get down to um, 54. And then you're going to want to make yourself a little chamber like so um, we're eventually gonna make this um, into some sort of hallway or something so just dig out some space here uh, for yourself and we can just close out of that we're gonna grab our chest plop it down and you can just toss all the junk into there uh, the junk you will not need on your mining session. I'll keep the deep slate on me just because I don't need too much deep slate. Um, I really don't build with it that much and I like to I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space here. I'm going to keep my bow and arrow. I'm going to keep my shovel. I don't need dirt. I don't need the planks. Uh, the torches are a need. So this is really uh, what your inventory should look like when you strip mine and well I'm gonna go ahead and grab this lapis ore right here and this hallway is gonna expand down it's probably gonna narrow out too um, just want to give myself plenty of space for this uh, demonstration and then you're gonna wanna break a couple of blocks back there just far enough with your pickaxe and then break a block down here and I haven't actually done this in a really long time uh, but I believe what you want to do is just that and then you want to double tap W and hold the space bar and then yeah there we go and you're actually going to be in the crawl animation here and um, I actually may turn on my shader pack here because mobs, most mobs will not spawn in this little one by one hallway here. But you're going to want to keep just going in this one by one hole as long as you can until you run into lava or something of that nature. And then, um, you know, all the ores that you see, you can stop and grab them. Um, And I say, from here, we just keep going. So um, what we're actually in is the swim animation right now. And I don't know if this is the fast swim animation or the slow. There's two. And um, I believe we're actually in the slow swim animation. 
So we can actually give it another shot here. You can hear there's a lava pool. It's probably somewhere above us. Um, reason being... Yeah, this should be the quick one. Yeah. And then, you know, feel free to, when you get to one of these things, look around, maybe place a torch. And then I'm just personally going to keep on going until, oh no, that's annoying. Uh, sometimes that does happen. And when it does, you just have to re-get into the swim animation. So just... Yeah, there we go. Um, and I'm going to make a jump cut and I will come back once I have found some diamonds. And that's, yeah. All right, so just so you know, by the way, I do have a shader on right now so that I don't have to keep placing torches. Um, it's a little cheaty, but I have found my first patch of diamonds here. Um, they're right here. And I'm going to continue on with the mining. And I just like to silk touch the diamonds and have them in ore form, and that way when we get back to the... Uh, we get back to the base we can break them down and see how many we actually received but so far we have received six diamonds and what I actually like to do also is I'd like to turn maybe turn my phone or on a different my second monitor I'll turn on a YouTube video or some Netflix or something and just go and I'm probably gonna go until this pickaxe gets to about uh, five four five hundred durability because on the next episode I'm gonna show you what we're going to do about the low durability tools and the easiest way to repair your favorite tools that um, are low on durability without having to use anvils and more of those tools to repair them um, but for now this is going to be this is going to be my life for a little bit so just I would say if you're following along just Turn on a TV show, turn on some audiobook, turn on a podcast, and just go with it. Go with the flow. I will see y'all momentarily when I find some more diamonds. I'll show, I don't know if I showed my coordinates last time. If you want to see them, they're here. Um, I do kind of branch off and take turns, and I may not show you every single turn I take. Ooh. Ooh there's a mine shaft over there. Um... I may not show you every single turn I take, I've already taken one. Um, and whenever you get bored and you think you've dried everything up, just go ahead and make a turn. Uh, however, I do warn against making like a maze of mines because then <laughs> that's how you get lost. Oh, sweet, more diamonds. Oh, I didn't mean to stand up there. Um, let's see if I had any more. No, just that one. Okay, cool. I have to get back into the swim animation here. Um, that was down. Whoa! This is why we don't dig... This is why we don't mine straight below our feet. Because lava pools still exist. And they are sucky to get out of so I think this is actually a mine shaft branch right there but we'll continue onwards and keep going until we find some more all right so I did go ahead and find a few more diamonds here is my coordinates um, K 
case you don't believe me and you want to verify for yourself feel free did I not grab that one no I did because I had eight before and then I just dug one two three uh, and we're back to gravel um, I flipped back around though so I'm headed back to my first tunnel I'm just kind of digging off in like little branches and then digging back to the original um, tunnel the original one by one tunnel that I had um, just because I'm not trying to load too many chunks um, but I can always prune them so all right anyways back to the digging process and more diamonds um, I'm a bit weary of this lava here I'll make sure there's no more though I think that was it I'm scared that I'm just gonna dig this gravel and there's gonna be like a whole thing of lava just pour down um, you can light this up and that may not be a bad idea um, the main reason that I like to light these things up is just to curb mob spawns and we found a cave here um, and a lot of people will oh, I don't want to use that that's my iron ore um, I haven't been grabbing it this whole time I finally stopped and grabbed some but I haven't really been exploring any caves uh, if you see one feel free to stop and explore it um, normally I do but I just really this is more of a proof of concept of you know what mining uh, almost an entire diamond pickaxe with them breaking three and efficiency four and all that that's this is just a proof of what that will get you of course we have fortune so that's gonna actually turn out to be more than 13 um, and I really just want a, enough for a set of diamond armor um, yeah, that's our, our main goal here and I'm pretty sure that we'll get that with 13 but I just want to make sure so anyways back to the grind back to watching random YouTube videos and I will see y'all momentarily when I'm not doing that anymore and here's some more diamonds um, right outside of this amethyst geode here um, if you want to check the coordinates um, on your own, feel free. Uh, but there is some more diamonds. We are now up to 19. I think I'm plenty happy with that. Um, I'm not 100% sure how far back it is to the tunnel. Um, I may have to look into that. But I think I'm probably going to call it good for this mining session here. Um, I really don't need many more diamonds than what I have now. So, yeah. Alright. So, I'm back to the house. And this is what our final haul looks like. Um actually very good for um, a very short strip mining session it really wasn't that long at all I'm not even at half durability on this pickaxe and I believe I'm gonna have enough for um, full diamond armor um, if I don't I'm gonna be very sad make another chest though I'm gonna make another chest for just all the deeps just a deep slate chest. Um, may have to make it a double chest. But, let me just drop all this off here. And, basically, what we want to do now, can we sleep this rain off now? The best part about a strip mining session is, well, uh, seeing what ores we got after the, uh, or how much of everything we have after the strip mining um, session. So I say we take our fortune three pick and we just 
build up a tower, take our fortune three and just tear it down. So let's see how high we go. That's pretty high actually. And, oh yeah, we got enough for full diamond. So from that strip mining session, we got 33 diamonds. So that's really good. Um, it's a great vanilla way to grab diamonds. And we can make a full set of diamond armor now, which is a huge, huge step in um, the Minecraft process. Boom. Oh, this is so cool. And we still have nine diamonds to spare. So we can throw these in our... Uh, uh, a loot chest and then of course we can we can still do that with the other ores too we can make a tower with these and see how many we got uh, but when you do these long strip mining sessions you really are just after diamonds uh, that's kind of the main thing I'm only gonna I'm gonna leave a half a stack yeah well, that's half a stack ish of uh, the just the ore because um, it may actually store better as an ore than in block. No, uh, it stores better in block form. So we can go ahead and do that. And also, this is a great way to get experience too. Probably didn't get a bad amount of iron. We got four iron. No, I was about to say. It's like we got one for one on iron. That stinks. Um, but we can go ahead and pillar up and convert the last bits of this redstone down into um, redstone dust. And I think I will. Um, well, let's see, how's the recording time looking like? Oh, wow, this is a really long episode. Um, uh, like I said, I know it's boring, and as we get later on in the series, some of the episodes will just have to be longer, uh, because we're gonna be covering more stuff, you know, we're not covering simple game mechanics anymore, we're talking about, you know, the more mathy stuff. Um, you know, how long were we just strip mining for? It was actually the length of whatever YouTube video I was watching. Um, so we just stripped mine for literally, it wasn't long. Um, it was 20 minutes, uh, well I wasn't watching that the whole time. So let's say 30 minutes of strip mining. We just got, uh, a half a stack of diamonds, which is really good. Um, as far as diamond mining goes. By the way, you can convert all these, uh, individual things into blocks and it makes it uh, quite a bit easier to store in your uh, chests here uh, it doesn't matter if we convert that down or not uh, we can do that we can put away the copper put away the coal diamonds the lapis and gold there we go. And we got a bunch of deep slate, which is good building material. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible for building, so. I mean, if you're just interested in the numbers, uh, that's about a stack of diamonds for every hour that you mine. Which, that's really good. And I think I'm going to call it quits here. Um, I'm going to think about what we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, I think the next episode actually is going to be a building. Yeah, we're going to make the next episode a building episode. And the next episode is really going to be where we get technical. And the next episode is probably going to be long. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I don't know if you watched my other channel. It was called Dead Man Land Minecraft, but I did a lot of redstone tutorials and I wanted to do those things, but actually in vanilla survival and just kind of show you the gameplay behind, you know, building these and the practicality of having these in survival worlds and how to just get efficient survival worlds. 
um, that, you know, we have fun in. Uh, so like I said, the next episode is probably going to be some form of building episode, but we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling to, um, not quite sure where we're going to do it, maybe back that way quite a bit. Um, yeah. All right, well, I think I will see you guys in the next episode, um, whatever project we may be working on then. Um, yeah. See you guys later.